It's cold and getting colder. Rhode Island gets cold every year, even during what we consider to be mild winters. Politicians in this state are ignoring the problem of homelessness. People are dying, and they have been dying all this winter, even without there being an Arctic blast. Governor McKee, when he evicted the homeless encampment from statehouse land, established a new political baseline for dealing with homelessness. Instead of, the, instead of treating them as people, he has normalized treating them as a problem. Following suit, the mayors of both Woonsocket and Warwick cleared out encampments, destroying the personal property of unhoused people. People have died in both cities, in Warwick and in, and in Woonsocket. In Pawtucket, the administration of Mayor Donald Grebian closed down the Black Lives Matter Warming Center on East Avenue, and the 16 people who slept there for the last six weeks were once again on the street. From last Friday to this Thursday, people counting on that shelter were scrambling for warmth and security. Last night, Pawtucket opened a new warming center miles away from East Avenue on Main Street. Not everyone who used to sleep at the old center found their way there, but some did. The new warming center will only be open for a few days. When it closes, it will still be February, it will still be cold, but the people finding shelter at the new location will once more be scrambling for shelter. And I want to give a word about warming centers. If you were to find yourself homeless, there are several, several service providers you can call to find shelter. These providers will take all your information, put it into a computer program called the Coordinated Entry System, and find you housing that matches your needs. Unfortunately, you will be on a wait waiting list for weeks and maybe even months or years waiting for housing. There's not enough housing in Rhode Island to meet the current and growing needs of unhoused people. Warming centers are a way around this problem. Since good, supportive housing is expensive, warming centers, basically large rooms with cots and maybe toilets, are set up so people can rest and stay warm. These warming centers don't utilize the coordinated entry system and are not meant as permanent or even temporary supportive housing. They are just holding pens that will hopefully prevent people from dying. And, compared to permanent supportive housing, they are cheap. They are cheap alternatives to doing something real about homelessness, and when the weather becomes milder, these warming centers will all go away. As I said to Dylan Zalazzo yesterday, Dylan is the Director of Administration for, for Pawtucket Mayor Donald Grebian. I said, we know it gets cold in winter in Rhode Island. Why aren't we ready with adequate shelter for the homeless in our state? He had no good answers. I'm sorry, he had excuses, but no answers. This morning, I spoke to another reporter outside Pawtucket's new warming center. He told me that just yesterday he saw a man in Pawtucket holding a cardboard sign, not asking for money, but for a tent. It's going to be negative 9 degrees tonight. Windchill could put it way lower. People will die. Maybe not tonight, but they will die. More people will die in Rhode Island because we're doing nothing about helping people out of homelessness.